Top of the mother effing morning to you. How you doing? How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? What's going on? What's going on? It's the king. And I'm all up in this thing. Balls hall. You know, out here ripping and running, checking trap, bending corners, as I do. You know what? I'm going to tell you what. Don't be dismissive of those signs that you get to do something or to go somewhere or to do a particular thing. It's on your mind and you're not sold on doing it. But as they say in the South, something told me. Something told me. I had a feeling. I had a gut feeling. I had a feeling. Ooh, my toe was itching or whatever it is. Whatever that is, as infrequently as it happened, is typically for a reason. Or I have found. And it's usually weird because it probably don't particularly mean any particular thing for you to do. It's not saying about anything specific, but it's moving you towards something you was already probably having a feeling about. Feeling some kind of way about. You did. And you act on it, and lo and behold... That's the number that came out. Or, you know, that's the day they was having a free giveaway. You wasn't going to go to the grocery store. And lo and behold, you walk in the grocery store, door, bing, bong, and oh, you the 99 customer. Oh, you get a free turkey ass or something. Who knows? But something had told you to do that thing. I don't know if it's really superstitious or not. Superstitious is probably that whole, if your left eye itch or your right foot you know, itch or your water on your, end, your knee hurting or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I've always kind of believed to go with it because it's natural. It happens naturally. Nothing is affecting why that particular thing happens. So if something told you to, then that might be something a little higher than what you understand. But go with it. Go with it. If you ain't on drugs, not if you ain't on drugs. Crack will tell you to do all kind of shit. Meth will tell you to kill somebody. <laughs> not, not that. Not that, not some chemically enhanced man-made bullshit that's going to affect your mind negatively and have you thinking all kind of bad shit. <laughs> Kill one people or two people? Something told me two. Oh, no, 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 not that. Not no shit like that. It happened to me this morning. And I went with it. You know, I was doing an AM type of, uh, not a really a workout, but I was just walking the track getting the blood pumping, getting the motivation up to come over here and keep everybody and anybody in the game motivated to stay in the game. And, you know, I was stopping to do calf raises because I have little girl calves. I don't know why. Everything else you got little girl, I don't know. I don't know. My mom and daddy owe me an explanation about that shit. So, I walk, the, I jog the track, jog, and then I get to a stopping point and I do calf raises. Jog, Stop my cabin. And I'm paying attention to the time because, you know, I got something to do and I need time enough to freshen up, clean up, and then go do that. So, I'm doing that. I'm walking. I'm jogging. I'm jogging. I'm walking. I stopped doing my cab raises and I'm like, okay. It's like, you know, about maybe 20 minutes before I need to start breaking down and getting out of here. Or maybe I can stop a little early and just be ahead of the game. You know, like that. What should I do? And then it came to me. That moment where something told me to do blah, blah, blah happened. What was it that happened? As I'm standing on the platform, which is a pull-up bar, there's an edge about two and a half inches off from the actual dirt. So that's where I put my toes up and, you know, calf raise up to try to get them calves like, you know, Boots Perry and Kirby Collins and them. So, I'm doing them, doing them, walking, doing them, jogging, doing them. And then when I get to that moment where something sublime happens that tells me it's time to stop, what could that possibly be that motivates me to stop doing what I want to do, which is get this work in and get these calves looking sexy so I can wear short, 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 shorts. It's a man. It's a man. I'm doing the calf ridges. I'm on another set. And I'm debating in my head about when to stop or should I stop now? Should I stay ahead of the game and do the right thing, go early? And then this man walks up. And guess what? He has on tiny, 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 tiny short shorts. Tiny, 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 tiny short shorts. Tiny. He's got them on. 
So I'm not paying him that much of attention because, of course, you know, when I work out, I rock hater blockers because I don't want nobody looking at my eyes trying to steal my fire. So I see him out of my peripheral, my peripheral. He coming from my left side, my peripheral. As I'm looking forward, you know, staying focused, got my hands. Yeah, I'm calf raising up, calf raising up. Mm, 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 boots pad, fucking curve collar. And what does he do that gives me any type of inclination to, inclination to pay him any attention or do anything that I'm debating in my head? He decides to do pull-ups. Okay. That doesn't really weigh in on my decision either. But the pull-up bar is here. Not this low, but higher. But it's this close to me. The platform bar I'm using is here. It's just about waist high. So I have my hands here, and I'm raising up on my calves. Raising up on my calves. Trying to get sexy for the short, short shorts. Trying to get sexy for the short, short shorts. Right? Right. Pull-up bar here. So he starts to do pull-ups. This close to me, at the bar, balls are dangle. See my hand? If I was in that profession or if I worked for those governments, I would be totally convinced that I'm supposed to stay here and watch his swinging balls as I'm over here trying to do Caffrey. Okay, something had told me it's time to get the fuck out. <laughs> something had told me two things had told me it's time to go. Those two things told me it's time to go. And he didn't have no, you know, it's like he wasn't paying me no attention. This is his favorite pull-up bar. And me over here working out is not going to affect the fact that he's going to use his favorite pull-up bar to get up here and, whew, whew, the ball's Johnson there. Whew, Johnson going with me, the ball going to, did it, did it, did it. Something had told me it was time for me to carry my ass on. 